We are deep in the forest of the Gifford Pinchot, the National Forest. This is the same thing that our ancestors have done. See how much bigger it is. Last time. Than my foot it is. Whoa. It can fit. Mm, big foot's foot. Mm We are. That's for a big scary uh, rock. <laughs> and we are already oh challenging God. ourselves, <laughs> yeah, which is the goal. Today is a pack <laughs> challenge yes. into the wilderness. We've actually never done this before. We've never had big packs ah! <laughs> and have traveled to do backcountry camping. Uh, we've done a little bit of backcountry camping, but not with our big packs. Not with our big packs. No. Oh, it's a little river. So this is a new experience for us, but one to kind of stretch us and get us out of our comfort zone. But we're taking a little dip, obviously. <laughs> on our way to our campsite uh, yes. that we have yet to find or choose. Ooh. Trying to use up the last bit of summer that we have left. You like my beard? A seaweed beard. <laughs> The river, she doesn't swim at all hardly. She just started swimming and she's like, I want to brave going all the way to the other side over there. This is what being in the wild does. It challenges you to find the bravery inside of yourself that you didn't know you had. And I'm certainly proud of this brave little girl. Did you enjoy that? Was that fun? You went to the deep water, girl. Man, that's where the big trout are, huh? That's what we'll call you now, big trout. A little trout. We'll call her a little trout. There are some big trout in this creek, though, for real. I saw are there them. Really? Yeah. And we really need to catch some. I'm excited about because catching trout. You and I are. We need some food. Yeah. We need to eat. Us adults need to find We need to eat something. <laughs> so girl, I got her too. And I'm gonna do the same. So I can get my feet and thus the rest of my body connected to the earth. My feet are not adapted to doing this all the time, but I try to challenge myself as much as I can and out in this wild and true beautiful environment, it is the most appropriate and perfect time to stretch myself. And Saven is lost. We're gonna keep hiking and hoping that she uses her nose to find her way to us. But another great thing about walking on these various sized boulders here is that it really allows you to use all of the muscles in your feet to stretch out your toes, to grip with your toes, to massage and stretch the ball and the arch of your foot. And that is critical for the alignment and the health of your entire body. So when your feet are locked up and you don't stretch them out and your toes are all locked together in your shoes, that is not the natural state of the human foot. We evolved being barefoot. Over long periods of time, so many of our ancestors were barefoot and they were walking along the land. And we're finding more and more with modern science and research that so many things that our ancestors used to do are actually what helped to bring us back into health and back into alignment, even in our modern age now. a dead animal so I think we're good we passed a dead animal on the way and we did not want Fabian to get into it because she's gotten into dead animals before and it's bad news Well, 
I challenge River to cross this area by herself. What do you think, River? You can do it? This is a really swift spot right here. Hey, River, you want Daddy to try to help you? That, that is a bit difficult. It's a really unique situation right here. It's not just the gap. It's the fact that this rock face is so smooth and slippery right here. You might as well have a rock right here. It looks helpful, but it's not. Yeah. She doesn't know this is perfectly fine. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, baby. You can do it. She can swim perfectly fine. For some reason, she's having a hard time. I don't know why. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on. She likes the jerky. Come on. Come on. We got another one here. You can do it, baby. Cross, girl. But I don't want to be cold. I know we're the wild and true family, but it's just so cold. <laughs> Come on, baby tracker. Come on. I don't want to. We just looked at our map, and it looks like in about another 20 minutes or so of hiking, that there should be a nice little spot that we can set up camp at. But the sun is about to peek behind the trees and the kids are uh, really enjoying the little swimming holes and the different things along the walk. So 20 minutes, you know, for families sometimes can take a little bit more than that. So we just wanna get there before sunset so we can collect all our materials, make a fire pit, collect our materials uh, for burning, get some food going, and maybe do some fishing so we can actually have some food to eat for dinner. All right, help her, grab her, grab her, grab her. Don't lean forward though. It's okay, she can get up. She can do it. Yeah. There we go, girl. She's so wet. Hello, ma'am. Are you doing any pucks? There's a feather. Your hat, I like it. You I didn't feel that from a bird, I hope. You didn't feel it from a... No. I okay, good. <laughs> that wouldn't be a very wild and true thing no. to do. <laughs> oh! Oh, my shoulder blades! Oh! Sam. I already have a lot of back issues with my shoulders, but woo! Wearing a pack, that's a whole different life. I feel weak, I, but I'm getting more resilient by the second. I am so proud of you for Aww. carrying this weight. So Sarah is not used to carrying really heavy weights. Um, I am far more used to that. I did a lot of it. She did some of it. We used to work with us, like carrying fence panels and stuff. But Just a little. This is so fantastic. I was like, because oh. our packs weigh almost the same. Yeah. This one's a little bit less, and you've done an amazing job. You and River. Yes. Axel's actually been the one that I had to carry his pack. <laughs> I think it's actually like forcing my shoulders to be pinched back like this, which is the direction they need to be stretched in, so it'll work out. So I think we found our campsite. I think that's it. Right there. What more perfect of a spot. Sarah and River are still back there. Oh yeah, that that's a perfect spot to set up our tent right there you on like that it? sandy beach right there. You like it? Yeah, no. I like, I like it too. Yeah. It oh daddy! Like this looks like an amazing place for fishing. <laughs> Doesn't it? And swimming. Oh, I see some fish in there. Big enough to eat. For sure, man. Yep. Big enough to eat, Daddy? We're gonna give it a try. There they are. It's like they're distracted by something amazing. I love that woman. I think our campsite is right up here. Patrick said he thinks he found it. I just one. I picked three of them right over there and I ate them. Thimbleberries? Yeah, they're right. Oh, delicious thimbleberries. We first fell in love with four years ago when we lived in Eastern Washington.
like it? I love it. I, I don't know. It, yeah, I mean, the it looks perfect. Yeah, the water won't rise. It looks perfect, but it's also bare rock. <laughs> so, yeah. I don't know. We may have to like put down a, a moss bed or something. Oh, yeah. Right. We'll see. Sandy? Yeah. <sighs> what did you find? Car bumper to DB Cooper's getaway vehicle. <laughs> yeah, man, we're all the way out here in the middle of the forest at the Gifford Pitchow, and of course, you gotta have something like this here. <laughs> I hate when there's like really, really trashy stuff going on. Always pick up your litter, always pick up everything you can. And I like to pick really up pick stuff even if it's not ours. Like you see stuff, I like to pick it up and pack it out. Daddy! Other people's trash. Daddy, how are you gonna pick up that? We're not gonna, gonna pick up that. that. Unfortunately, that bumper is gonna stay there. This is the Pacific Northwest. Okay. And moss loves to grow on the big leaf maples here, so we could collect a boatload of moss and put it down. I don't know. I think this is going to be pretty darn uncomfortable. Oh, nice. You like it? Oh yeah, Sarah likes her mattresses firm anyway. <laughs> My back is like, yay! No pressure points, just lap hard. Oh, your back might leave. Well, you know what? That's okay because see, Daddy looked thought ahead, and I only put the things that could definitely get wet and be perfectly fine in oh, axles and rivers backpacks. So, <laughs> but you're good. Mine and, <laughs> and yours. I'm sorry, son. I I trust you, but uh, not with my sleeping bag. <laughs> guess what? I don't want that getting wet. My backpack got wet too. Just a little bit. It just got a little bit wet. Oh, just on the bottom. That's okay. You did good, son. You did good. Patrick yeah. found a spot, we think, up here. we we'll want to get away from this cliff face in case there are any falling rocks. A little rock falling on us while we're sleeping. <laughs> Ooh, that would be a terrible story. <laughs> Our uh, sleeping bag's wet. Yeah, because we may not be experts, but one thing we do know is that <laughs> sleeping in a wet sleeping bag is probably not optimal. <laughs> Axel is not cold and neither is River. <laughs> hey, they're more resilient than we thought. Yeah, they are. <laughs> Alright, you want me to hand you your pack? I think you... I don't know, you might be able to... You're a little taller than me. Yeah, but it's in my abdomen. Yeah. That's where the pack is. That's where the, that's where the height is. That's why I like her. My favorite. It's all in the abdomen. It's those oh, rock hard yeah. abdomens. <laughs> oh, and his hat. Aww. Oh, what's in the bushes here? Is it a wild, wild? Oh, it's a wild Faven. Hey, Faven Tracker, you need some love. You need some love, huh, girl? <laughs> Life is better on this side of the ocean. It's not exactly an ocean, but it felt like a great crossing. <laughs> we just crossed the Pacific Ocean yeah. with me on your shoulders. <laughs> we challenge you challenge. to get to this island and to come back. If you get there and come back, you win. You win a marshmallow tonight. You have marshmallows? What? Wild and true. I, know. I thought we were just gonna be living off the land, but this man has marshmallows. I'm really happy about that. It's but wild and true, come on! Survivalists, trip. what is this? What is this <laughs> fake rewilding stuff right now? <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Marshmallows are delicious, and they're the special treat that we re sometimes reward ourselves with when we do hard stretching ourselves types things, type of things out here in the wild. They've almost made it to the rock. You both win if you both touch it and come back. It's just a matter of doing your personal best. Woohoo! Halfway there for Axel. Yeah, halfway there for River. I love our wild kids. They just get out here in nature and for the most part, they don't fight as much. They, they're not bickering all the time and complaining. Really all of us, after several hours af out on the land in the wild, we start to just get into this nice, symbiotic place together where we're just 
in the moment and just enjoying what is outside and not worrying about all the things that we worry about typically in our day-to-day -day lives. So it's really nice and I highly, highly recommend, if you can, get out in nature with your family. Axel made it back. River, are you proud of yourself for making it all the way there? And all the way back? He keeps going in the shallower part. You can go yeah. whatever it way you want to on your own you get there, path. Back. And right as I'm talking about kids not I'm bickering, they start to bicker just a little bit. But isn't that just how life is? You just have to move through each moment, each conflict, each peaceful. <laughs> Back at it again. We better get going because we have a fire pit to build and wood to collect. Come, hurry, come on. You're almost there. So close. Ugh. Let's go set up camp, okay? Fire fluff. Nature always provides what you need. All these kids are just using me as a drying towel. That's not normal. Wait, yes it is, I'm a mom. I guess we've reached camp. But, oh, what is that? Oh, it's just moss on a rock. It looks like a really huge caterpillar. <laughs> a bunch of dry tree wood, see? Oh, do you think it's dry enough? Let's see. Oh, yeah. We're going to be able to use that for sure. Why? Look at the size of these boulders. It's incredible. Hey, Axel, you should try to skip rocks. I'll take that one. You take that one. Skip them? Yeah. Jump? Yeah. No. <laughs> he didn't laugh. And he's back. Is this the spot? Okay, so or did you find something better? I found something way better. Yay. And the good thing is that it's got about a couple hours more sunlight left too. Really? Yeah. Oh. So the bad part is that it's a decently difficult hike. <laughs> well, I guess that means you just ran down there? Yeah, I ran. So. And then you ran back? And then I ran back, yeah. Okay. So, so we can make it. But we need to go now? Yeah, we need to go. We're losing daylight, now. but no, I'm saying over that there it's over there, it's not daylight. It'll it'll be, it's the sunlight. It's warmer. Yeah. So the kids will have more fun over here, I think. Okay. So it'll probably take us about 20 minutes to get there. Uh huh. But I think they'll enjoy just staying there the rest of the time. Be great. So. Okay. You hear that, guys? What? You hear that, kids? What? what? Daddy found a more optimal spot, but it's more hiking. Okay. It was just loud. so close to the water. Yeah. It's kind of loud. The other spot is like this, but it's got a much bigger beach. Okay, so a little yeah, bit further from the water. Noise. It's not quite as loud. My water soundtrack is just too noisy tonight. Load up our packs again. All right. I'll see you there. And we're off. So you can go the rock path, or you can go the float path. Okay, there's sun down around the bend. Will it help me water? Yes! Gotta watch out for the stagnant water. Oh, she yeah. got it. Mountain. Oh, always the shake. Patrick's a little overloaded with big packs. His pack, Axel's pack, River's pack. He did offer to get my pack as well, but let's not be <laughs> too selfish. like this <laughs> and it's summer so it's not like challenging elements but these rocks and out in the wild like this if you're not used to it but we're still not really like survival outdoor super hardcore people yet that's part of why you're here <laughs> because you're watching us become more of that 
and sometimes it doesn't look pretty and it's kind of embarrassing like it was just now but you didn't see it so it makes me feel better <laughs> it really is a challenge being out here for us so i'm glad we're here because without a challenge what's the point of life anyway right so let's make ourselves more resilient together and hopefully one of these seconds we will find our campsite oh my goodness it does look like a nice spot the water doesn't get above that look at him carrying my pack what a kind fellow It's amazing how much colder oh, it is when the sun starts to go down or when the clouds are covering the sun. Oh. <laughs> well, I sure do feel very wild and true right now. You made it all the way here. Oh my goodness, a rock climber extraordinaire and a swimmer extraordinaire. Who knew? Oh, that's quite a fall. You okay? Mm -hmm. This is relatively safe, and you watched your face, so you didn't hit your face on that. We have almost completed the journey. Yes. Almost. Almost. One, and two, three. Oh, and do not get our packs more wet than they already are. But my pack is quite wet because I fell earlier. And you, thankfully, you didn't have to see that. <laughs> Possible to tent up in this area. But it's right up against here. here. This area right here. So further away from the water. Fire down here. Okay. Like right there. That's a good okay, spot. we'll make a little ring. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right here, Daddy. Look. Hey, Riv. Right there's already chairs. Chair, chair, chair. See? Oh, that's true. And look, oh. right there. Yeah, yeah, I like that. I think that's a good well, idea. That's kind of cool, well, right? right there, but... Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we need to get some rocks and make a fire pit here. All right, let's keep looking. They're a little bit dry, Axe. Yeah, here's... In my pocket? Yeah, they're not dry enough. Just throw them down. We must find kindling somewhere, and we also must get a fire pit going. Goodness, I wish we had some pie. Yeah. Fly pie? I know pie. I like pie. Pie tastes good, actually. <laughs> pie out in the wilderness. Is, can we make a quick oven? Yeah. Right. Also, look for some wild huckleberries uh, axle, somewhere. Like Is that an option? Okay. Yeah. Guess not. That's Guess we're, we're not listening to me about my, my pie idea. This is for River. This is your fern right there. River. This is your fern. So what we're gonna do, Rivy, we don't have anything that can catch a spark really well around here. Um, the stuff we had, the Sarah got wet on accident, so we're gonna have to go for this. This leaf is, uh, it died from some kind of disease or something. It's really weird. And so there's almost not, it's almost non-existent. It's like the consistency of toilet paper, which is exactly what we want to catch a spark. So never done this, let's give this a shot. This dead leaf material here, it's not just ordinarily dead. It died from some kind of disease, you can tell. It, it, because it's got uh, other plants around it look exactly the same that aren't dead like this. Some kind of disease here. This is very abnormal. Oh, there we go. There we go, come on. Oh, yeah, yeah, you got it, got it. Okay, okay, okay. Got it. okay more, more, more ferns, more ferns. Anyway, ferns, ferns are the best, ferns are the best. More ferns, kids. More ferns. Let's get more ferns back. And then, Oh! Uh, so we did it, y'all! Yeah! Loud and true, baby! Yes! Yeah. Some of you may think that we are some kind of like survival oh. experts or something like that. We are novices. We. I mean, we just started doing adventure stuff yeah. and like, but we didn't really know much about that. I kind of grew up in the woods, but 
The shape we found in Owl's Pond, that's what it started from. That's true, yeah. <laughs> but it also started with me and Axel and me and Sarah going on a trip before we ever even started the show to yeah, New York. And we had kids. We just, yeah. we felt like we belonged in the wild and and we stayed true to that. Mm -hmm. And we, we, we definitely, we still feel naturally drawn to the wild and mm -hmm. we think oh, the world ow. is missing something. Just toss we it definitely out. do and that we do, do feel that the world is trying to tame us. Yeah. And mm -hmm. that it's up to us, the select few of us, who want to live this different type of life, mm -hmm. who want to hold on to our to connection wild. to the wild. Yeah. Yep. And uh, mm -hmm. to be honest and true along the way. So yep. here we are. Yep. Truly wild. That's Faven on the trail of something. Or At least she's barking like it's alive, so that's good. Yeah. It's not a dead animal that she's rolling around with. Please don't do it, Faven. <laughs> I mean, that didn't even hurt. I'm totally not complaining. <laughs> Is this good? What's the landing? Can you This moss burns really well. Ooh, this, nice one, Patrick. This moss makes the fire bigger. Mommy, it makes look, it smokier for look, sure. Look, I mean, fluff it up a bunch. Take that, stick! Look. He put a bunch of moss in it and it's making it bigger. And look at all the smoke. Yeah. <laughs> this marks the spot, the spot to get warm uh -huh. and to cook your food. <laughs> Speaking of which, we really need to yeah, we'll get on that fish. food catching business. Oh, daddy, I'm... Oh, yes. Good idea, I'll try to harvest food okay. from the river with my fishing pole. I just actually started fishing. Patrick and I have fished a few times over our, the 16 years of our relationship. But just recently, we've fished a few more times and I'm in love. It's just amazing. Okay, I've never actually strung up a lure. A lure? A lure. 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 You stick it through there first, and then you put your finger through and pinch it, finger thumb like this, cross it over, have about that much. And you go around two, three, six times, something like that. Six times, good. And then you stick it through, back down through that, see? I'm going downward. And then you pull like this, and you just keep pulling. You see how the twists, they start to turn into big knot. a big, a more secure knot? Knot, and it's more secure than a single loop. Than a single loop, yeah. Or in, in, and it, and it can hold more tension. And so, uh, like that off, and then you kind of pull it just to test to make sure. Sometimes it can be kind of funky, and you don't want the fish to break it off. So, mm -hmm. just pull it, and uh, that's it. You're done. Awesome. Now let's yeah. catch some fish. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, I made a good decision by choosing this lure. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Ever hooked up with a... Looks kind of like a little tutu on the bottom, so hopefully the fish <laughs> like little yellow tutus accompanied by a gold shimmery thing. <laughs> I caught one. What? Uh, I, my first cast, I cast out, I was like, oh, I found the perfect spot. Cast out, and then immediately got a bite, and then started reeling it in, and, and I saw it flop out of the water. It was ah. like a good size one, too. Just like, oh, the silver color, like. No. Yeah. Oh, just flopping man. It, and I had it for a while. I was like, oh, I'm going to have it. I'm going to have it. Yeah. So I need to figure out what exactly I'm supposed to do when uh -huh. I the first bite. Like, do I immediately start reeling? Do I pull up? Yeah, when, you, I... when you feel that bite, you set the hook, which is you just, you just tug. You don't want to pull too hard. You don't reel, you tug. You tug and then reel. I think I tug didn't know that. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. But I don't think so. That's... You, you tug and reel. Tug and then reel. You don't want to pull too crazy hard because you can actually just rip actually... the hook out of their mouth. Right. Because the mm -hmm. fish was struggling with it for a while. You want to you want to work with the fish. Once you set that hook, I mean, yeah. you see how sharp those hooks are, right? Yeah. So it doesn't take much to set that hook into a trout's mouth. Right. You I just want to give it a good set. I kind of pull mm -hmm. and then start reeling, but I'm not really sure. And once you set the hook, uh -huh. then you don't want to pull too hard. You want to keep tension on the fish. 
Okay, I so, think I just started real, real, real. Yeah, real. don't. Yeah, so keep That's tension. Don't pull it out of the water. You want it to get caught because up in if it, it flops it. out of the water, it can shake around and shake the hook, the, look, the hook loose. So you want to keep tension on the fish, tension on your line with the fish. But you don't want to pull too hard. So if the fish is like really taking it, let oh, it have a little bit, okay, and then pull it in, it, and then it's give just and a take. Practice and feeling it's, it. it's a feeling. You got to feel it because if it's too fish. hard, it'll rip the hook out of its mouth. It'll actually rip its mouth. Sorry, fish. Maybe, or but if it flopped out of the water, it out and was like, then it shook around. It can flop out, shake around, and shake the hook but out I of its mouth. But basically decided that that part, that place where I caught mm -hmm. it, is useless now because he went. It he was went like, no, nope. <laughs> told his friends, yeah. Yeah, and I, I did it like 20 more times. And it was not I really good. like to know if there's any science that's been done about that, but it's Ooh, very logical. But I knew <laughs> it. It was a perfect spot. Mm -hmm. And what? Yeah. So yeah, keep your pole low to the ground and. I am so excited for you to catch a fish, Sarah. So I really excited. want to. Also, I'm very hungry. So. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I got a trout. <laughs> but I got to get a... Ah! Get away. I was out in the middle of the water. <laughs> okay, this is a fighter. It's a rainbow. And it is just big enough. All right. Whoa there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All righty. Yep, let's see. So my gauge is my hand. And that's the inches. Oop, hardly, it's hard to see. Yep, that's it. Uh-huh. It's a keeper. It's a keeper. Made a little stream. A little pool right here. We're going to keep the trout in there. It's still kind of alive. Try to keep it kind of fresh in there. While we continue to try to catch some more fish. Neat little hack. Got this moss here. I need to carry an extra lure. I don't have anything to carry it in. And these treble hooks are just that. They are treble. I wrap it in this moss here though. Stick it in my pocket. Good to go. I'm gonna go down far away. Do some more fishing down there. Sarah, you're gonna stay here. And she's gonna try to fish up here, but inside of the kids because we don't want to get too far away from the kids. Mm -hmm. What? So, Daddy, you're going to fish. Because this is down coyote down and bear and yeah. cougar country. Uh -huh. so, so, oh, there's a doggie. Yeah, yeah. So. And I'm drying out my clothes because that's also very important. <laughs> the only clothes we have, yeah. Yes. Sun is going down. It gets cold pretty fast. cold here at night, which is what is nice about the Pacific Northwest. I love it in the summer. Mm -hmm. It can be like 100 degrees, but it'll cool down to like... Uh, 60 at night sometimes mm -hmm. when it's 100. But it's 100, very so. rarely 100 degrees. Yeah, very Normally rarely. 80s and then yeah. it's been in the high 40s at night. David, drinking that water. Is that some good water, baby? Yeah. So I'm down at this beautiful spot down here, down the creek. And Sarah and Axel and the kids are still back at the campsite. I've caught two trout here. I really hope Sarah caught some trout. She is so excited about fishing. She's been wanting to fish for so long. I fished a lot when I was a kid. Um, I taught myself basically, and she never really fished. And so she really wants to catch some fish. I hope she caught some. But uh, I don't have anything to carry these in, so. I'm just putting them in my pocket. <laughs> I'm gonna try a little bit more and then I head back to them. Well, I didn't have any luck catching fish. Patrick is still trying to catch another one. We're getting the fire built up so that we can at least cook the one fish that we do have. And, uh, probably eat the steak that we also brought along with us just in case we didn't catch enough fish <laughs> and then we're gonna be saying good night soon and the agent tracker already dug herself a little hole just leave and her said room. yeah just say good night to her I just caught so many fish right there <laughs> In fact, I caught the biggest trout I've ever seen or ever caught and it got away. But then I got another one that was a little bit smaller. And I got this one right here and it's really sad. 
because this one's too small, but I hooked it right through the eye. And I, if I let it go, it's gonna die. It's not gonna make it. So I might as well make use of its life and use it for nutrition for me and my family. So anyways, or maybe this will be Faven's snack. Yeah, Faven needs some food. All right, well, I think I'm done here. I'm gonna head back. Whoa, they're really biting right now. I'm gonna head back and uh, cook up some fish on the campfire. We are still awaiting for Patrick to come back from down the river. So that means the kids and I are going to figure out how to set up this tent. Shouldn't be too complicated, but it's definitely something Patrick typically does. in this right um or uh, hmm maybe Patrick should have a look at it oh look there he is finally before the sun sets I'm so glad my husband is more capable at these outdoorsy things than I am but I'm learning Ooh, some kind of fly oh it's a damn fly oh there's a bunch of them flying around us maybe they're cold <laughs> They're called damselflies. Attracted to the fire. Yeah, mommy, they're a type of mini dragonflies. Damselflies. Oh. Yeah, they look like them. Mama, um, you keep the fire going. I'm working on getting my bathing suit dry, <laughs> so I'm not completely clothesless for the evening. I did the not bring extra going. clothes. Fire still going. Well, that's good. Because you're gonna need a fire to cook the fish we got. Just a couple. <gasps> What? Whoa! Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> you found a good spot then. I found an incredible spot. So I was like, the whole time I was like, ah, oh, no! Wish Sarah had gone here. <laughs> she would have caught every time I cast. Got one. Got one. I caught one that was it was huge. Wow! And it got away. Oh, um, was your hook too small? Uh, you know, I don't know what it was. I, I didn't keep it in the water. Mm -hmm. I, I was fighting it too much. Yeah. And I tried to pull it out of the water too soon. Uh, and, and once it gets up in the air, you don't want the fish out of the water. Oh, it'll that's what happened to me shakes then. the hook off. Oh, I see. So, sadly, this one's too small. But I had to get it because I hooked it right through the eye. Oh. And it's not going to survive like that. So, might as well make use of it and uh, eat it. Wow. Can we eat that we one, Ronnie? The other one the in the little, little pond over there. You want to oh. eat the little one raw? No, yes. no, 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 no. Yes, yes. It tastes so good. Bear Grylls does it. He, he, he says any freshwater fish you could eat raw. I believe it if Bear Grylls says it. <laughs> but no one that. else. Did you catch one? No. Okay. Mm -mm. But I put our tent together. Oh, Dad, guess oh, what? Nice. Dad, guess no, what? I didn't. Daddy, I don't. Daddy, I could not figure what? out. I couldn't Daddy, even figure out how to open up the backpack. Four times. <laughs> That's not even a joke. You know, I mean, I could have. I just gave up too soon. They're biting. They are? Yeah, right now. I guess. Yeah, there's a this fish flopping out over here a yeah, bunch. Right there. And we, it, we saw it flop out like four times. Did you get any more bites? Did you get any bites over there? No. Yeah. Mm -mm. There, um, keep fishing right I just, there. I just got two bites right there. It's evening it now, and now they're like, I oh, they're, they're trying to eat. Because yeah. this one keeps jumping out and getting insects mm -hmm. over here. Yeah. But it won't take to my lure. I think it knows my lure is not safe for itself. Looks like we're having sushi before we have our uh, campfire roasted fish. Oh, um, um, Mama, yeah. keep the fire going. Okay, oh. I will not forget. Oh, push this in here. Nice and toasty. My shirt is getting kind of warm. Luckily, I did bring one long sleeve shirt. I just didn't bring any there bottoms, and my shorts are definitely not going to be you dry. <laughs> Bathing suit it is. Fresh sushi, huh? Yummy. Yeah, and skin. with your teeth, you just you don't eat your skin, which is scary. And you just get a good piece like that. Does it, it tastes like salt? raw salmon. No. Well, it is. It's a raw trout, right? Trout mm -hmm. sushi. Yeah, Did you try it? It's good. You like it? 
Except Trout Sushi is more. Alright, I've never done this, so. It's definitely a mental thing. Looking at this, being like, you're just swimming around, not meeting you. You can't be disconnected like you are when you buy meat out the supermarket, all wrapped in a pretty package. You have to confront the reality of the situation. But it also makes you a lot more grateful because this life is nourishing our family. And for that, I'm it. so thankful. The circle of life. Bye, oh my gosh, look at that huge tree daddy's knocking down. What in the world? Whoa, oh! Timber! Well, I guess we're knocking down a whole tree. <gasps> hey, Faven, you want some fish? You want some fish? Here, give it to her. With the head? Yeah, you like the fish head. Apparently she didn't like it raw. You cooked it a little bit for her? Yeah. She likes it. Yeah, you did. Some sushi left on that thing. A lot. Yeah, look, look at all that. That's all. This, Neat. if you've ever had sushi, this is sushi. Right here. Mm -hmm. Look, he's pushing it down. Whoa! No, that wasn't that big tree. Oh, look at Axel! Ah! Oh. Well, I picked the wrong spot for firewood. <laughs> Not very much. It's just hard to get to. Well, we just need enough to cook our food. Right there. Get our tent set up mm -hmm. to get in bed. Axel said, I'm actually feeling tired. Nice. I said, nice. being out in nature, uh -huh. in the natural light change, so yep. the sun sets and then your melatonin kicks in, uh -huh. and just the natural rhythm that our bodies, our circadian rhythm, that our bodies are supposed to operate within, actually, our hormonal system and everything actually do their job when we're out here. We don't have all these artificial lights hitting our eyes that are stimulating the wrong systems in our bodies and making us think we need to stay awake and stay wired. Instead, we just have the warm amber light of the campfire. And our flashlight. That's true. You're just well, tossing it on that's like that. Right nice log. Guess we'll just, watch out, Rev. We're just gonna lay this huge tree directly across the fire. Oh man, it is a big You saw it jump oh, out? I cast it in there about 20 times. Oh, it actually bit. But yeah. I wonder what you're doing differently. We'll, we'll, we'll do the full uh, tutorial Tutorial tomorrow. tomorrow. I'll, I'll, I'll try to explain, because I don't really know exactly, but it's good, I need, to, I need to actually know what I'm doing. Something you just feel into, I think. Just means I need to fish a few hours every day. River, are you okay with that? You wanna fish for a few hours every day? She's all about she the comfort. All about the comfort. Yeah, she's got to make her bed. It's like, come on, night. Faven. Come on, girl. She's, she's like, like, this is really lumpy. <laughs> Where's my fuzzy blanket and my cushy bed? <laughs> come on, Faven. Don't you know we're the wild and true family? It's going to take her a while to get used to it. Catch up to all of us. <laughs> Daddy's still fishing while Axel's getting these fish gutted. Watch your knife. So we oh, got this one's pregnant. That one's pregnant. Wow. Nice eggs. So caviar. Caviar or roe or what? I don't know. What do you call it when it's trout? Yeah. I, like oh, I don't know. Too. Can you just eat those like that? Yeah. I you don't, don't have to do anything to them? No. I found the heart. They look like, are you sure? Yeah, these are eggs. Wow, they're in these little, how do they separate them? Well, no, they sep They grow them in this sack. And then once they're full size enough. eggs, oh, they so these, are, these are new eggs probably. Them. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, they weren't quite ready to lay, I guess. So in lots of you can eat ancient these. civilizations you can eat these rocks. and in different tribes, Mom? things like this are the prized what? foods, the prized nutrition, Mom? specifically for uh, pregnant women or women Mama? during their fertility age when they need to become pregnant. This food is so nourishing. Mom? 
It's just a very That's faint flavor, rough. actually. It's not very pungent at all, like I expected. All right, Riv. Eat it. Mm. Mm. Nutrient density. It's like a makeshift shovel. And we're trying to make a level area to put the tent so we can sleep on level ground. And it's uh, a little bit finer wow. gravel yeah. and sand yeah. mm -hmm. underneath, so yeah. it's a softer surface. Of the bigger rocks, chuck them in the water. Yeah, just comb through and pick out the big rocks. There you go, like that. Oh, this is a good, really good skipping rock. Yeah, it is, eh? The kids are having a blast right now, just throwing rocks in the water. That's all it is, that's all they need to feel gratified and entertained. It's pretty amazing when you get out in nature. Ooh. Fish time. I think mine is done. Let's see it. Okay. Daddy found us a nice. We don't have enough. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. All right, well, this is not very well, but that's okay. I am a fish head, and I am Fabian's favorite snack. They go Fabian. Oh, yeah. Good nutrition. <laughs> uh huh. Can't waste any of the animal. Nope. Good nourishment in those fish heads. Except for the spine. There's good nourishment in the spine too. We're just not the ones to eat it. Oh, uh, Other things done. will. Oh my goodness, that one is definitely done. Oh. Real salt. Oh my, oh my goodness. Hot. Yeah. Ooh. Faven's having a hard time. She's like, I wouldn't eat all of them. <laughs> this is dinner for everyone. Hey, everybody. Everybody. We'll give you a little bit. All right, come on over here. All right, everybody. Wow, what a meal. What a meal. I feel much more wild and true. I'm not even joking. I do, yeah, for sure. Because you, I mean, I wish I would have caught some of these. Look. I mean, I don't wish. I you will, will catch some. You catch will some tomorrow. Soon. I'm gonna, we're gonna make sure that you yeah. catch some fish. And you did catch some. Yeah. You just got away, I caught, a bunch got away from I just have to get into the, the intuitive yeah. feel what, of it, what you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, everyone, so before we eat these amazing, nutritious trout here, we're gonna take a second to be thankful for the lives of these trout, right? Uh huh. Are we thankful for the trout? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very thankful. Mm -hmm. Yep. The trout, they they died, and now we are going to eat them, and the nutrition from their bodies is going to go into our bodies. And this is the same thing that our ancestors have done, all the way back to the beginning of our ancestors. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, this is what. This is the life cycle. So, mm -hmm. bug lays egg. Egg turns into bug. Mm -hmm. Fish eats bug. Mm -hmm. Human eats fish. That's Human a... gets eaten by dinosaur. The end. <laughs> That's the food chain. <laughs> That's the food chain. <laughs> food chain lesson. All right. Well, now that we are thankful for these fish, let's go ahead and dig in. Wait, salt. Salt it. All right. Okay. Now these fish have bones, everyone. Oh, a lot salt. Of salt. Yeah, a lot of salt. Okay, let's. See. All right, what do you think? Mm. That's that good. is so good. Oh man. Oh, wild, fresh, mm -hmm. fresh, mm. wild. And you earned it, right? And you earned it. No more nutritious food than this here, you all. We are immensely rich, so immensely rich, rich. So and we didn't you. spend a dollar on this food, not a penny. Um, I mean, we had to spend money to for the fishing pole, but. <laughs> Their gas kit and all that. But we did not do a trade with uh, anyone for money. And um, you can't, I mean, with a with million dollars, you can't buy just about more, more nutritious food. And we are so, so overwhelmed with thanks for this food. Yeah. Also, I just spit out a whole pile of bones just now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> In a world that's trying to tame you, you must remember. To stay wild and true. Stay wild and true. The world is trying to tame us. Oh, it is. We need to make a fire bigger. Yeah. Fire bigger. We'll do She's our best not to let that happen. <laughs> on the fire. River type. We cannot forget about the, let fire. the fire. go out. All right, we'll see you tomorrow. All right, bye. bye.
right, adventure agents. Well, if you want to see part two of this wild and true family survival episode, go ahead and check the link in the description down below or click on the video you see popping up right now to go over to the wild and true YouTube channel. Be sure to subscribe to that channel if you want to see more future Wild and True Family survival videos. And if you want early access to all of our family's videos, check the link in the description down below to see how you can get access to our family's official Adventure Agents app. And don't forget to check out our Adventure Agents merchandise store where you can purchase your official Adventure Agents badge, clothing, and survival gear.